Ginbeta Gensenkyo is a onsen town located on the shores of Lake Nukabira, which is in the East Taisetsuzan National Park. So Lake Nukabira is an artificial lake formed when the Otofke River was dammed in the 1950s. The dam was completed in 1956. So the ski area here was quite well renowned. At one point it was owned by the Prince Hotels Corporation. It has some really nice runs and some beautiful views from the top. But unfortunately, due to the declining popularity of skiing at the time and the ski area's quite remote location and a few other factors including the bursting of the bubble in Japan, the top two runs were closed and it changed hands in about 2007 to a Tokyo corporation um, and that corporation went bankrupt in 2008, so less than a year later. And in the current state, yeah, the top two lifts are closed and only the bottom two are open, which effectively cuts the whole ski area by more than half. So this area is originally a logging area and a forestry area. So it was planted with national forests early on in the 20th century. Um, and then skiing started here in the 1940s when someone decided to ski along the fire break between two forests. And then from there they built a rope tow, then after that they built lifts. And because it's located right next to an onsen town it became quite a resort area. But as it stands now, it's kind of quiet. So when the Prince Corporation owned it, it was kind of busy and then it got less and less popular. And then when it changed hands, the company went bankrupt and then its ownership was taken over by a local hotel here. One interesting thing is that the ski area is actually built across a road that travels between Nukabira and Shikoi, so towards Obihiro. Um, and that, that road is closed in winter, uh, but that's actually what I'm walking on now. Yeah, so if you ski here, you end up skiing across the road, which is kind of neat. Well, I'm back at the ski field now like I've come up the road enough that I'm back at the top of what's open part now I'm on groom slope but I'm still on the road um, but I just passed a rope that takes you off the road back onto the ski field for people who are coming from the top of the first cheerlift We've just come back off the groomed part again, so we're off the road and we're actually on the, the slope now of the old part of the ski field. Well here you go, this is lift number two. So there's actually two lifts below lift number two, but because of the order they were built, it's lift one, two, three. So this is lift two. And then the two below are lift one and the romance lift, so just a small lift. Well there you go, that's the top of the second lift. I'm trying to actually work out when it was built because it's something I haven't been able to work out. Maybe I'll see a date on here somewhere. Yeah, I can't seem to see the date anywhere. It's usually printed somewhere on here with a sign, but it might be down at the actual, the bottom where the lift starts. So I'll have a look when I head back down.
So over there is the third lift. Um, I was going to get to the top of that, but it's actually white out at the top and I prefer living. Well, I'm back on the road now and I'm going to head over that direction. And there's a wee building there I'll have a look at. The third lift is down there. And just looking at it, like, it's kind of confusing because it's uphill from the third lift to the second lift. So unless you can get around the side, like, at the end of the day, did you have to come down here and then climb up again to go down the second lift? So this is the building I saw. It. It's an abandoned restaurant. Um, there was snow falling off the roof. Maybe this isn't a good place to stand. Anyway, it's an abandoned restaurant. It looks really nice, actually. But it looks really modern, so I'm not sure when it was built. But I'd say it was built when Prince Hotels owned it, because that's kind of their thing to build overly expensive stuff that never gets utilised, and then it gets abandoned. But yeah, it looks really nice. It would have been a good place to hang out. And I still haven't worked out how you get from the third to the second lift. I think you must have to come around this side of the the slope so you know if you don't know that the first time you do it then it sucks but yeah I'm gonna have a wee break and then head back down When I tried to fly my drone then, it said the battery was too cold, so to warm it up, so did the old trick of sticking it in my underwear. It worked a treat. I'm going to head down now, and I'm going to change cameras, and so I don't know if the footage will be very good, but if it isn't, sorry about that. I'll add it in anyway. But yeah, that's Nuka Beta Ski area in the abandoned bit, so I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. So I said that we were going to film downhill as well, but unfortunately the camera battery went flat. I guess it was too cold, and I didn't realise. Otherwise maybe I would have stuck it in my underwear too. But yeah, sorry about that. The snow was alright. It was a bit crusty and it wasn't the best for sure. But it was fun. It was a nice hike up and yeah. Anyway, that's all.